All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Pinch House Garage unboxing. We got two boxes here, one from Mamba Tech and the other one from Integrated Engineering. So let's get to unboxing because this is Pinch House Garage. So we ordered this about two and a half weeks ago, uh, the turbo, and this is a fitting set. Um, now the turbo is from Mamba. We ordered two, two, three pieces. It's a, it's a turbo kit and a dump pipe, a dump pipe kit. Um, so we're gonna unbox first this guy to show you guys what this is first. And my handy dandy box blade is still here. And I found it, so you don't want to lose it. Ah. All right. Now this is something I buy all the time from Integrated Engineering with all my 1.8T builds. Now I ended up buying the kit because I only needed one piece. I actually just needed this fitting right here. Uh, but if you buy this fitting and you like buy this one, it's like 20 bucks more and I can put this on a on a 1.8 T. So these are the AN press in fittings for a 1.8 T. Now I got a test. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to see if this will work on a VR6 on the valve cover because I want to put an AN fitting on the valve cover so I can make a catch can for it because it's much, much needed. So that's why I bought this. This guy, I mean, I have no need for it right now, but uh, there will be a 1.8T big turbo that I'm building. So this might have a good home to it uh, for soon. So that's why I bought both items. Uh, these, I think as a set are a little over 60 bucks. It's 100% worth it, guys. Uh, every penny uh, from Integrated Engineering. I buy these every single time I do a uh, 1.8T build. It's just one of the best things you can buy for quick adaptations for a uh, AN fitting setup on your car. Now, for this bad boy. This is what we've been waiting for to finish our VR6 turbo. I mean, you can't have a VR6 turbo without the tough and the bow. So we finally got the tough and the bow in and it took a while. You don't understand how long I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting again for almost three weeks, but it sucks because they don't like, how can you say, um, send you any information until it actually ships. They don't give you any tracking information, nothing until the moment it actually departs. So. It's a little annoying, but I'm going to let it be. All right, Mamba. Before I open it, I'm going to take a picture of this. If I have my phone. I don't have my, I do have my phone. I need a picture. Cause I just, just got to show it off, man. Got to have all the pictures. I do a portrait, I might as well, because. All right, time to open. Oh man, just, I'm excited. The big turbo. Oh man. Oh, oh man. That's in the packaging and it's all really gnarly. Whoo, that's a big boy. 
All right, so, holy smoke, this thing is huge. I'm taking that out, I'm gonna set it aside. Supposed to be another item in here. So I got all my lines and everything. There it is. Just making sure I got this, this is important. My dump pipe. And then we have a manual. We'll go through all this right here. All right, packaging, very nice. Thank you Mamba Tech for shipping our little baby. Now, we got a cool manual. Don't know what it's for yet, but we'll see. We got a dump pipe, very, very important. Uh, we got a matching dump pipe. So what this is, again, so you guys understand what this means is a dump pipe is it's the adapter to convert the turbo from a five bolt to a V-band, which is very, very important for our setup because we're trying to keep everything as pretty much as clean as possible and as like just easy to build. Especially when we take this to the exhaust shop, we gotta make sure this is gonna come out really, really nice. And then they provide you with a really nice gasket for it, already set. Uh, the stud conversion for it, very, very nice. We might not use those, we don't know yet. Let's open up the oil lines and coolant lines. So they provide you with an oil feed line. Okay. We might not be able to use that, it might not be long enough. This is a coolant feed line and probably a coolant return line. This will be for the wastegate. got here so okay so these are the fittings for the turbo for for us to pretty much uh, screw these guys in so these are all the fittings that we're gonna need to feed and return um, looks like they gave us a little manual um, a little what do you call it a little wastegate actuator manual one uh, if not, I don't think this is wastegate. I think this is for oil. Yeah, this is for an oil feed. So oil feed and, re and um, adapter. So if we need to use that for these for this thing, so that's what it is. These are the springs for the boost. Another uh, another fitting. This is a reducer. So what you guys, uh, if you guys don't know what a reducer is, this is what actually goes on the top of the turbo. Um, there you go. On the top of the turbo here, this guy, uh, what this does pretty much turns this big hole into a little tiny hole. Okay? This is another feed. I don't know what these are for. More like, oh, these are the bolts for the turbo, okay. So, this is the return line. This is for the oil return, okay? So this is what goes on the bottom of the turbo, down into the oil pan. We don't have a return line. We have to make that for this car, uh, for this turbo setup. Uh, they gave me little clamps. These clamps are for this little nozzle here. They give us all the hardware for us to mount this. Now, right now, Currently, I'm probably not gonna use this. I'm not 100% sure. I gotta hit up my friends at stage eight and see what we can do for our build because I really wanna use stage eight hardware. Um, I mean, this hardware probably works great. It definitely looks like stainless steel and copper. So this is good stuff, but I don't wanna deal with hardware backing out. So we'll probably do some research and uh, find the right size threads and everything. So all of this right here is currently the part of the kit that we got, uh, that we purchased. And now for the main event. While we're all here, 
today. Woo, she, she purdy. She purdy. Woo. All right. This is our Billet Mamba Tech Turbo, GT35 Turbo. Um, pretty much these are balanced, ported, and everything uh, correctly, hopefully. You see, beautiful, it's in internally uh, wastegated. I went this route just to save some money uh, on the wastegate, but if it ends up becoming not the best option, we will swap this out for an external wastegate setup. It's not hard to do that. But this is per currently the, the current setup. So, like I was talking about that uh, the dump pipe, this is what we're talking about here. This mates to here, okay? And this is what converts it from that thing to this thing right here. Looks amazing, like, and then we just get a custom made V-band downpipe and go from there. Um, the reason why I went with an internally uh, gated uh, turbo, uh, two reasons, cost, uh, save about two to $400 on just getting a wastegate. Uh, number two, my concerns is when we start building the downpipe and everything, depending on the shop that I go to, I'm worried that they're just gonna ruin it. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'll go this route and hopefully they don't ruin it. I mean, that's kind of like my my uh, hopes and prayers is that they don't ruin the the setup. But, you know, some exhaust shops are just, you know, they're good, but sometimes you just get that one, that one day they're just off by a day and it just, that's it, that's the end of it and it just ruins your day. Um, definitely gonna probably invest in some uh, better uh, V-band clamps. But, yeah, man, this thing's freaking beautiful. It's a beautiful big turbo. Um, ball bearing, we went with a full ball bearing and because we went that route, this is oil and water cooled. Um, so when this gets mounted on the manifold, we have to clock this. And we're gonna clock it. So uh, this right here, currently this is the bottom. If you guys can see this. This is the bottom of the turbo. And this is the top. So, this is where oil goes in, and this is where oil comes out. And same thing goes for coolant. You got a top and a bottom. So when we mount this, we have to make sure, um, we have to make sure that the feed is straight up for uh, oil, because oil can be, has to be straight up and down, 90 degrees, like perfectly up and down versus coolant can be a little bit sideways in there, not as important, but oil, if you have it uh, rotating and feeding incorrectly, what can happen is that you can have poor flow and then it just won't cool as efficiently. Um, so we want to prevent that as much as possible. So we went with a two inch outlet for the, uh, the, the, the cold side. I went this route because we're going to be using a uh, water to air intercooler, so we don't need as much as a big enough of a setup because we're going very short distances to go from the turbo to the intake. So that's one of the things I was going to give you the heads up on. That's pretty much it for now. Um, you'll see this, uh, the wastegate hose that they provided, this guy right here. This guy goes here to here. That's it. and then. Uh, you have the wastegate spring here. You unbolt this and then you pick out the springs that you want based off the amount of boost that you want to run. And that's, that's, that's it. From there we have to obviously install everything else. I ordered a couple tools so we can make a custom return line and a return uh, fitting on the oil pan. So this guy can be fully properly mounted. Uh, we are going to have to figure out how to plumb the the oil return line, I mean oil feed line. Uh, the feed line, this is too short. I'm just giving you guys the heads up. This is already way too short right off the bat. Uh, this has to be like another like 10 inches to a foot longer to make it from the front of the engine all the way to the back uh, to feed it. So no biggie, 
Um, I'm going to be buying extra stuff that we need as we go through this project. Again, this turbo is universal. It's not meant for a VR6. We went this route. Uh, it's an AR50 uh, cold side with an AR, I think, um, I think it's an AR50 as well for the hot side. Um, on both sides, GT35 turbo, ball bearing. Uh, I believe this is one, two, three, four, five, Seven blade, but they have like an extra uh, blade on the inside. It's hard to show you, but if you guys can see that, it's really nice. And that's pretty much it. That is today's unboxing, part six. Uh, we got the new fittings from Integrate Engineering. We got the new turbo. I mean, oh, we forgot one last thing. This guy right here. On the inside of this, they actually give you your um, your chart here. So this is the chart uh, for balancing on this turbo. And they show you the tolerances and what they did and what they, um, how much they adjusted to get the turbo correctly uh, balanced, which is pretty cool. Um, which is, a, they provide that with every turbo, Mamba sticker, and then they give you another set of gaskets. They gave you the actual um, turbo to manifold, and they also give you the five bolt uh, dump pipe uh, adapter as well plate. So I got another set of gaskets, but can't complain. Everything you need to get it bolted on, but not done. You're missing the return line. So again, guys, this is not a complete kit. This gets you started and then once it's completely done and we get it bolted on the car and on this car running, if you guys are not subscribers, you guys are not gonna get to enjoy the first startup of this car because it's gonna be wild. I'm just telling you that right off the bat. I'm excited for this. So thanks again everybody for watching this episode of Pinch House Garage unboxing with a Mamba Tech Turbo and Integrated Engineering Parts. We will see you guys soon very soon for the next DIY, which is installing this bad boy. So you guys have a wonderful night. Peace out. And as always here, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. Deuces.